Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Casey Panetta, Managing Editor of ECN. In this week's episode, Boeing's newest streamliner, a gas-powered surfboard, and an exclusive opportunity for ECN readers. It hasn't been a smooth ride for Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. The plane has made the news twice for lithium-ion battery fires, which grounded the fleet earlier this year. The plane also had problems with the emergency beacon catching fire. But with over a thousand orders in place for the plane, the show must go on, and the first 787-9 Dreamliner, the third variant of the original, made its appearance in Washington this week. It's scheduled for delivery to Air New Zealand in 2013. The 206-foot 787-9 is a twin-engine, twin-aisle plane with a cruising speed of 567 miles per hour. It can carry up to 290 passengers and can travel up to 8,500 nautical miles using 20% less fuel and 20% fewer emissions than similar aircraft. The Jet Surfboard is a gas-powered surfboard that can move at up to 35 miles per hour. It has a 100cc gas engine and the board is made from carbon fiber and Kevlar. If the 2.5 liter tank is full, you can use the board for about an hour. But all that fun doesn't come cheap. The estimated price is around $16,000. You can pick from one of three versions, with the main difference being motors and max speeds. It's not the first of its kind, though. The WaveJet, a similar product, is a board and jet drive that uses a power pod and gets you 35 minutes of continuous ride. Surf's up, dude! Here at ECN, we really like to hear what our readers are thinking. So we're giving you the opportunity to voice your opinions loud and proud in a special edition of ECN. We're focusing on the trends in the industry, and no one knows that better than our own readers. We'll be focusing on four main areas. Consumer, specifically 3D printing, military, power, and automotive. This week's question relates to 3D printing. How will or has 3D printing changed the world of design engineering? If you have a great answer, send an email to the address below. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Casey Panetta, and this has been your engineering update.